Hello my friends, I hope you are well. It feels like it's been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. 2022 has been a little bit unexpected because we went back into a lockdown in Ontario. So that's been very difficult if I am being honest, but have some really exciting stuff coming up because I am moving. Ryan and I are moving in together February the 1st and this set off we're going to be painting our home. I'm really excited to take you guys along that journey and just to see the transformation of our house over the next couple months, over the next year. I'm in a very weird transition period right now where I don't want to wish time away but that already feels like my home and this is just kind of a placeholder for my stuff right now but just trying to live in the present and I think it'll be so nice to see how our place transforms when we paint and yeah I'm just so excited. I'm definitely not a relationship expert uh, but I do want to be very careful in the way that I articulate what I'm about to say but if I've learned anything over the course of 2021 it's that love, it's not easy, but it shouldn't be hard. Obviously, it takes a lot of effort to keep your relationship healthy and fulfilling and reciprocal and keep that spark alive, but something I'm learning is that the relationships in your life should not be hard. They should not be difficult. And when I look back, now everything makes sense because I'm following the path of least resistance with everything in my life. When I look at some previous relationships and friendships, I was really trying to force pieces that didn't fit. And although relationships take effort, you should not be trying to force or persuade or convince the people in your life that you deserve certain things or beg for quality time or physical affection or to be prioritized by those individuals so I encourage you that if you're struggling with friendships or relationships just to keep that in mind if you're forcing the relationships in your life and you are settling and you don't feel fulfilled stop you can have everything you want, I promise you. I had so many people tell me that my standards were too high. And so after hearing that for so long, I started to believe it as well, but I never truly gave up in what I believed that I deserved. And now I'm so happy. And I have everything that I've ever wanted and more. And I cannot believe that I'm about to start this new chapter of my life with my best friend don't settle you guys because everything that you want is out there for you so i just that was really on my heart so i just wanted to say that always always remember what you deserve and your standards are not too high you're not asking for too much that is being projected onto you by people who are unhappy with their relationship and what they have settled for so so excited to take you along this new journey of us moving in together and transforming our space and just all the home projects that we have. And let's go to Home Depot. Here's the before. So we have a lot of different colors that we're gonna be working with here. We have a brown wall, a red wall. There's some gray in here. So there's gonna be a lot to cover. We chose Bear Polar Bear. And as you can see, everything's kind of already in the middle of the room. Ryan is already working on some stuff up on this ladder here. And we're about to begin. So a little before and cannot wait to see what it looks like with this new bright color.
perhaps you need this reminder, I needed this reminder. Um, painting is a lot of work. We spent four days, morning to night, painting. So I love white, I love the crisp, clean look, but starting off with those brown, red, gray walls was whew. So many areas of the house actually ended up needing five coats. And you're dealing with two perfectionists. So if there was even a little, like, is it part, we were like, no, we have to, we have to do it right. We just kept saying that. And then we just got to a point where we had to say, you know, it's never going to be completely perfect but we can still be happy. I have never felt so sore and exhausted and been such a contourist with my body. Like it, it is, I have such respect for people that do physical labor like that for a job every single day. It is tough work. So I definitely did not film as much as I wanted to. That's because I was hard at work for four days. Definitely feel like I've been going go, go, go for <laughs> since the beginning of December because um, December is such a crazy time and you are like Christmas shopping and last minute things and then Araya asked me to move in with him on Christmas Eve and then ever since then it's just been like, yeah. So as you can probably see, um, I'm living in chaos right now, um, which is kind of difficult for me. I really love a clean home and a clean space really helps me have a clear mind, but I'm just embracing this and I got pretty overwhelmed last night um, with just the amount I have to do and moving is never easy, but I actually ended up finding an old journal and uh, just reflecting on how far I've come and actually these responsibilities and things I have to do they're all blessings at the end of the day like yes I am moving and I have to do that in between working and just all the things I have to do but at the end of the day they're blessings and there's just so many of them that I'm having a hard time juggling so trying to shift my mindset and took some time to have a sweet morning and kind of reconnect with myself and I'm feeling a lot better, but so I don't know if you guys are familiar with Abercrombie and Glitch, but a couple weeks ago they had a glitch on their website where you could stack coupon codes. So instead of doing one for 20% off, you could stack two and get 40 or three and get 60 and it worked. So I blacked out. Um, and I ordered a lot on the site and then the next day I was reading, you know, that this happened to Sephora and some other companies in the past and they've um, just refunded people and sent out like a blanket email that, you know, it was a mistake and whatever else. So honestly, I was like, if they refund me and send that out, like I completely understand like that they probably lost money during that experience because it seems like a lot of people utilize that sale and I just kind of came to peace with it in my mind even though I was really excited for all my um, items that I purchased but they actually honored that glitch which in turn now makes me a Abercrombie & Fitch customer for life because how incredible is that that they gave basically gave all that stuff away to all these people like I had a $1,300 order uh, for $200. So I basically feel like I robbed them, um, but I do feel so grateful that I got all my pieces. And so we have them here with us today and they're gonna have their moment. We're gonna do a little Abercrombie haul. So one of the things I'm wearing is my new loungewear set, but I'll show you better. Uh, if you would come to my bedroom. So first things first, we have this lounge set. This was one of the pieces that I looked in my cart after I completed my purchase and I was like, did I really need that? But I mean, I'm a loungewear girl and it actually ended up being one of my favorite things. 
So it's a nice waffle material, which is my favorite. Very slouchy, very soft, and it is extremely flattering in my opinion. Love the little pocket that we have here. It's just so cute and it's giving cozy but fashion, you know? Catch me in this every day for the rest of my life thank you so much i also got this knit cardigan it's cream color it does have some yellow undertone so just be aware of that if you don't love yourself in yellow but very very cozy very cashmere material and i've already worn this multiple times uh, both with this set and just out and about so definitely i'm starting to gravitate towards this cardigan they have a lot of other colors and it's long enough very very cute and I'm very happy with this one. So the next thing I want to show you is the scuba bodysuit. So I already had a scuba tank and I loved it. Really nice rip material. This honestly reminds me of like a skim fits everybody bodysuit, but obviously very reduced cost. And then everyone loves these Curve Love Abercrombie jeans. So <laughs> they are like a flare fit. And honestly, I wasn't sure when I first put these on if I loved them on me just because I'm very tall and I sometimes feel like the things that are trending don't always look amazing on my body type. But with this tighter shirt, I honestly feel like I can rock it and it's just something that I'm not necessarily used to. But I love this wash. I love the holes in the leg and yeah just like i feel very trendy in this outfit so yeah that's this i got three pairs of jeans so they may not all be a hit but at least i got to try so i also got these pants for work i am true to size a medium um these are very very baggy which i am upset about because I absolutely love them um, so I'm gonna see if I can return them for a small so I will link everything below that I got but just know that if you are going to purchase these dress pants to size down because these still have a lot of room like an abnormally large amount of room for a medium but I love the color of these I love the feel of these and if they fit well they would be very flattering um, so very hopeful I can get these in a different size. So here's another pair of the Curve Love jeans. They also have um, a baggier flared out bottom. These ones, I am struggling with how baggy they are. I'm just not used to moving away from skinny jeans, but I know that it's not in style anymore. Um, nonetheless, I do feel like these are flattering on the booty. Love the wash. And I do love this shirt. It's a little more cropped than I would hope, but I'm 6'1". I'm like mostly torso, but also mostly legs. I'm just a tall gal, but love the color. This is very sexy. It's giving like date night at like an Italian restaurant, red wine. And I do love the back. So this top is a yes. And these pants are... I just need to get used to them. I need to find like styles that work together with the flared jeans so that I don't just feel like I'm wearing like baggy top, baggy jeans and just not really dressing to feel my best. So anyways, if you can't tell, I know my color palette, which is like maroons, oranges, terracotta, brown. So I do shop within my color palette. Loving this top, feeling sexy. <laughs> So I also got this amazing pea coat. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this color. Oh, it's so cute. I just absolutely love it. Very light material, but when I first tried it on, I tried it on with like a very big sweater and it is oversized. So that's ideal. Cause obviously when I'm gonna be wearing these types of jackets, it's gonna be winter in Canada where I am. So definitely need to have layers to stay warm, but loving this. Here is another pair of the, oh, the 90s straight ultra high rise jean. I am very impressed with all these jeans nonetheless because I am 6'1", they are long enough, they fit just right, true to size. So these are obviously a washed out black color and they do have a cute little slit 
down near my ankle, which I do love, but this bodysuit, <laughs> who is she? We love her, this is amazing. Both the bodysuits I tried on are thong bodysuits, which we love, and I just love this cut. It's very sexy, um, but still classy, and love the color. They have some beautiful colors in this bodysuit, so this is extremely multi-purpose and very comfortable, but just loving this fit. Very happy with these pieces. <laughs> This is another one of my favorite pieces. This puffer jacket that I got. You guys, <laughs> I just love this. And I love just like the details that it has. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I love the color. It's nice and warm. And uh, yeah, I just absolutely love it. Puffer jackets are so in right now. And I just obviously love this color as opposed to black or white just because this is more complimentary for me and I just love this so much. I'm so happy with it. So I got this boyfriend top with work in mind, but I think that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this just in general. Very silky soft material and I love the color. Long enough on my arms, obviously a button up. I really love this one. I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I thought it would be more of a plain Jane, but I think it's a really great staple piece for my wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Abercrombie haul. I still am pinching myself that I was able to get all of these items. I'm so happy with them. I just want to do a couple exchanges. Hopefully one day they have a nice big sale or something. I don't want to wish that this happens to them again, but I know that they do have really good sales from time to time. So if there's anything that you're really wanting, but it's just above your price point, then just wait it out and I'm sure you'll have an opportunity to grab them. But thank you guys so much for watching this little haul and thank you Abercrombie and Glitch. <laughs>